You're right, guys. BVH here. Um, so this episode is going to be about just addressing some of the misinformation about the FIFA 17 release date and schedule. There's lots of people faking things online, and I haven't seen anywhere that really puts the correct information out there. At least the information that's out there at the moment. So I'm going to do my best to go through it with you. So I have actually got a nice little board set up here so I can go through it with you. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the closed beta. Now, you can't get into this unless you've got an invite already. So if you haven't got one, by this point in your inbox, for your email account that's linked to your uh, FIFA account, then you're not going to get one, sorry. It's tied to your FIFA account, so like your, your login. So you can't use someone else's, you can't buy any, anyone else's off eBay or anything like that unless they give you their entire account, which they're probably not going to do. So, sorry, I didn't get one. I'm a foot founder, still didn't get one, so yeah, out of luck. Um, moving on, the demo. So there was a fake thing going around on the internet saying that the demo was going to be out on the 6th of September. This isn't official at all, uh, this has actually now been revealed to be fake. You can tell it's fake by the fact that the Man City badge is the uh, is their old Man City badge. Someone kind of forgot that, I guess. Um, okay, so moving on to the demo release date. When is it? Well, we don't actually have a demo release date at the moment. It's a big question mark. EA haven't told us when it is going to be. It's probably going to be released on their Twitter sometime in the next week or so. I'd expect it to obviously be in September, perhaps the last week of August if we're really lucky. Um, I guess we have to wait and see. There is no confirmation of the date of the demo. Uh, same goes for the web app. There is no date for the web app as of yet. It's all just guesswork up at this point, so it's pointless me saying. What I can, however, say is the EA Access schedule. Now, it's always been uh, five days recently in the last few years. So it's five days ahead of the US date. So it doesn't matter if you're UK or US when it comes to the early access, it's just a switch and it's on. So that will be on 22nd of September at midnight Pacific time, which means if you stay up in the UK at midnight, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it till like 5 a.m. in the morning. So if you stay up 22nd, which is a Thursday, then have fun with that. So I'll be picking it up on EA Access. Remember that's only on the Xbox. That's not for PS4. I'm afraid those guys have to wait a little bit longer. So you get 10 hours of play from that. It's well worth getting in nice and early, getting the, uh, the players you need and opening packs and all that stuff. The final thing is the release date. So that's the 27th of September if you're in the US. Now the reason I haven't actually stated more than one release date on here is just because uh, you don't actually have to abide by the UK rules when it comes to the release date of FIFA. There are ways, very publicly shown ways, that you can just change a region in about 5 seconds to the US account, buy Xbox dollar value uh, gift cards and then just buy FIFA, download it straight to your device, even if in the UK, and you can be able to play it fine two days early. So. That's what you guys should do. So 27th at September at midnight. You can pre-download it. So probably from like the 20th, give or take, you'd be able to download it. In fact, you will already have it if you have the EA access since it will already be on your account. It's just a matter of downloading a little key to be able to let you play for more than 10 hours. So that is downloads at uh, midnight on the 27th Pacific time. So again, not GMT. I hope that wraps up a few things for you guys. Um, there have been a lot of misinformation, as I said, and I don't think there's any of these places that confirm it properly. If you Google FIFA 17 release date schedules, you'll see a load of people with a load of old data and stuff that they've picked up from FIFA 15 or something that's been written on a website six months ago. It's just all a load of misinformation. So this is what you need to be looking at. Web app has not been even announced yet with, um, I mean, it's obviously been taken down the current one, so there's no information on that at all. Demo, there is going to be one, but we don't know when. So you say that we're about as well. All right, guys, that's BVH. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you find this information useful, uh, smash us a like. I'm really trying to get started on YouTube, so that would be really helpful. Until next time, this is BVH, signing off.